Hi guys, uh, so if you are facing this error, application was unable to start correctly. Uh, so let's try to fix it. Uh, the first solution is using a command which re-registers all DLL files. Right click on the command prompt, search CMD in the Windows 10 search box, right click on the command prompt, run as administrator. Now, once this command prompt with admin writes, opens up, you have to run these two commands one by one, okay? Uh, I have pasted both these commands and the description of the video given below. You can directly copy it from there. The first one re-registers all DLL file in the system and the second one re-registers all OCX file in the system, okay? Just hit enter and similarly uh, copy and paste the second one and hit enter. Now try again if your problem does not get fixed. Let's move to method 2. Uh, just press Windows and R key together and type INTLCPL, okay, now click on OK. Now once this uh, opens up, the window opens up, click on Administrator, click on Change System Locale and make sure the current, uh, correct reason is selected there. If your correct reason is not there, select your correct reason, okay, and then click on OK, click on Apply and click on OK and try again. Now, even if this does not fix your problem, move to the third method. Just search regit it in the Windows 10 search box. Now click on registry editor to open registry editor. Now we have to go to this location in the registry editor. Okay. Okay, just have to computer add a forward slash space this location. HK local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows NT current version and windows okay now in the right right side you have to find load app in it dll okay just locate this double click on this and make sure the value is zero now close the register and try again and your problem will be fixed if still this does not fix your problem uh, uh, right click on that particular thing and try to run as administrator. If it still don't fixes the problem, right click on that particular exe file, click on properties, now click on compatibility and try to run that program in compatibility mode. Check this, run this program in compatibility mode for and first select Windows 8 or 7 and then click on apply and click on OK uh, and then try to run again and your problem will be fixed. That's it guys. Please do like the video to support us and thanks for watching the Geek page.